you're trying to pass that journeyman's exam on the first try, check out this video for tips on how to do that. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you my four tips on passing the electrical journeyman's exam. You know, I've used this quite a bit when I go through uh, refresher courses, kind of talking to guys, telling them, hey, you know, if you use these steps, you're going to do pretty well on this exam. Yes, you need to know how to use the code book. Yes, you have to understand how to do the calculations. You still have to understand the work. But I have four tips that's going to help you get through that journeyman's test and give you the maximum amount of time in order to pass it on the first go around. Tip number one. Get some sleep, get up early, get to the exam center early. That is my first tip. If you drag your feet and you don't get there on time or you rush there, you're gonna to have to fill out paperwork. You're gonna have things that are gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to do when you get there. So you wanna make sure you maximize that time. When you maximize that time, by getting there early, you're already prepared, relaxed, take a deep breath, and you'll be my in good shape. My second tip. My second tip is read through the entire exam. You get in, you sit down, you open up the exam, and you start clicking through or flipping through depending on if you're paper or computer. Go through every question and answer the ones you know. Come on, we all know there's some things that we do every day that are just in our head. They're ingrained from when we went to school. They're ingrained from our four or five years being in the electrical program uh, and being in a, through an apprenticeship program, you want to make sure that no matter what, you're going to go through and answer the questions you absolutely positively know are correct. By doing this, this will maximize your time. If you only answer five to ten questions, as long as you know you are 100% correct, that's gonna save you a lot of time taking this exam. Okay, tip number three. Tip number three is start from the beginning and go through and start answering the questions in the code book that you know exactly where they are. If you know where they are in the code book, those are the questions I want you to answer. So what does that mean? Well, if you have to look up a certain table or you're looking for a particular number or you know you know where it is in the code you're just looking for a, a footage or something go to those first because you should know where they are in the code book at this point you should just go to the code verify yep it is four feet and mark the answer now i'm just using that as an example you know go to the questions you know that you want to just verify in the code book not that you have to look up in the back of the book and go through everything just the questions you know where they are in the code book. If it's a grounding question and you know where it is, if you're looking for an amperage number and you know where it is in the code book, go to the code book, flip to it, find the answer, answer the question, move on. Don't spend a lot of time on these questions. Again, it's important you understand the quicker you can get the questions answered, it's going to leave you a lot more time for the harder stuff at the end. Tip number four. Tip number four is, once you've already answered those questions where you know they are in the code book, go back and read those other questions you left out. By leaving questions out, I want you to go in, open up the back of the book, take the key words out of the question, find them, get into the code. You may have to flip for, through a couple different articles to get the right answer. The key to this is, do not spend too much time on it, okay? If you get to a situation where it sends you to three or four articles and you're not finding the answer, move on. You can always go back to it, okay? Again, the key is, depending on the amount of hours you have, you want to get in, get everything done, and when you're spending time trying to find these answers, don't spend too much time because if you spend 10, 15 minutes working on one question and still can't find the answer, you're only guessing. Move on. You flip through, you spend a couple minutes on it, you're not finding the answer, click to the next question and move on. Once you get through this, okay, you've answered all the questions, 
and you hit submit or you're getting ready to turn the turn the test in this is where a lot of people get that anxiety okay here's the thing if you get done and you answer all the questions early and you've got let's say 30 minutes left go back through and read them if you if you're not hundred percent sure on certain things here's the key the question is if you don't know and you start changing answers and second-guessing yourself nine times out of ten you're gonna end up taking the right answer and marking it and changing it to a wrong answer okay again this is something that I need you guys to understand is when you guys are going in to take these tests a lot of times go with your gut okay here's the thing it's not the end of the world if you fail the test okay I tell everybody over and over again when they come take my, my courses is, you know, just make sure when you're going through answering these questions, make sure the questions you answer off the top of your head are the questions you know. And then you're going to, again, go through and find the ones you know where they are in the code book. If you don't know right where they are in the code book, that's not what we're looking for, okay? The key to passing the test is maximizing your time to spend on the things you don't know where they are in the code book, okay? If you did everything correctly, you'll be okay. Now, if you found answers and you clicked everything off and you're moving on and you're moving on and you're moving on, you wanna make sure, okay, you wanna make sure that no matter what you do, you don't change the answers. It's not the end of the world if you fail the test on the first try because, you know, when you go through these exams, they get a little overwhelming. When the exams are overwhelming, this is what happens. Anxiety kind of takes over and things don't work right. Again, whether you miss it by one question or five questions, not a big deal. What do you do after that? I'm gonna put out a few more videos what to do regrouping after you fail your exam. Because again, not everybody's gonna pass their test on the first try. Not everybody's gonna pass their, um, pass their test on the second try. There are people out there. That doesn't ever define you as an electrician. It doesn't matter how many times you take the test. If you pass it the first time, great. You don't have to do that anymore. If it takes you two or three times to pass it, that's fine. Here's the thing, guys. Some people are just not test takers, okay? But I have found that if you follow these steps, this will help you because I've seen it happen. Okay, a lot of times guys will come to me after failing their test and, you know, they've taken a refresher course somewhere else. They come in and they need some help. I help them with what they need, but I also train them to take the test. And it's key to understand knowing where the questions are in the code book because that's what helps everybody the most. Okay, figuring out right. what's what. So we're going to recap right now. First thing you do, you get there early. The second thing you do, go through the entire test and answer all the questions you know. Third thing, go through the exam again and answer the questions you know where they are in the code book. Lastly, the fourth thing to do is to go through and start picking out the keywords and start looking them up in the back of the book. This is a surefire way for you to pass that journeyman's exam on the first go around. But you know what, if it's not your first go around, your second go around may help, okay? You're watching this video. You may be getting ready to take your journeyman's exam. You may be getting ready to take it for the second or third time. The key gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is to get in, make sure you're early, make sure you're well rested, and then answer the questions. Taking a deep breath in between each question will help you quite a bit. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If at any point you're, you're, you've been here and you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, make sure you subscribe. I try to put out as many videos as possible. This is now 2021. I'm gonna start revamping. We're gonna get back into the swing of things. I'm gonna start doing videos every week. You know, taking you guys through the code book, doing different calculations, making the videos a little bit longer. If you have any questions, please do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. 
and I'll be sure to put that on my list of things to go over in these videos. As always, have a great day and be safe.